Earlier, we covered how to read individual candlesticks and multi-candlestick formations. These are used by short-term traders and can be helpful in identifying opportunities in a short window of time. For identifying patterns that form over a longer period of time, chart patterns are often believed to be more practical. So let's get right to it. Like candlestick patterns, chart patterns generate buy and sell signals when they give traders an indication that a trend may continue or reverse course. These signs are generated when a pattern is confirmed. Like with multi-candle formations, patterns indicating that a trend may continue or start trending upward are called bullish, while those indicating that a trend may continue or start trending downward are called bearish. Let's look at some examples. An ascending continuation triangle is a bullish pattern formed when a stock price continually reaches the same upper limit and hits higher and higher lows on its way back down. When the price closes beyond the upper limit, this is called a breakthrough. It signals to traders that the pattern is confirmed, meaning that the price may start or continue trending upward. The opposite of an ascending continuation triangle is a descending continuation triangle. This is a bearish pattern. It's formed when a stock price continually reaches the same lower limit, hits lower and lower highs on its way back down, and breaks through at a close beyond the lower level. For both of these patterns, the general rule of thumb is that the earlier the breakthrough happens before the triangle reaches its apex, the more reliable the pattern may be. Pay particular attention to the volume at breakthrough, especially with bullish patterns. An increase in volume is further confirmation of the pattern Otherwise, the breakthrough could be a false signal. Next, we have the head and shoulders top formation. This is a bearish pattern formed when the lows of the stock price continually reach the same level, and the highs form three spikes, with the middle one longer than the left and the right. As you can probably tell, the pattern got its name because of its resemblance to a head and shoulders. When the price breaks through and closes beyond the lower level, aptly called the neckline, it signals to traders that the pattern is confirmed and that the price may continue trending downward. The right shoulder is the key to this pattern. It's the one that defines the formation, meaning that the breakthrough of the neckline must happen after the right shoulder has formed. A head and shoulders bottom is the exact opposite and looks like an inverted head and shoulders. It's a bullish pattern formed when the highs of a stock price continually reach the same level and the lows form three spikes, again with the middle one longer than the left and the right. The pattern is confirmed when the price breaks through and closes beyond the upper limit after the second shoulder formation. Again, make sure that the volume has also increased at the breakthrough. Wouldn't life be easier if these patterns looked exactly like they do here in a real stock chart? The reality is that we need to be a little flexible, as the lines may not always be as clear-cut. An ascending continuation triangle may sometimes look like this. A descending continuation triangle like this. A head and shoulders top. And a head and shoulders bottom. Chart patterns can help you identify buy and sell signals at breakthrough, but they may help you interpret shorter price action as well. Recall that reversal candlesticks aren't a surefire predictor that a trend will reverse, only that it might. Knowing how to recognize when a head and shoulders bottom may be forming might help you interpret some of the candlesticks you see on your trades along the way. For example, a doji appearing at the apex of the right shoulder of a head and shoulders bottom may mean that the right shoulder is about to form. Watch our lesson on trends to add another element to your technical analysis toolbox. For more practice with patterns, see if you can spot any in a stock chart on WebBroker. Go to charts and type in the name or symbol of a stock. Under the technicals tab, you'll also find a list of technical events including patterns that have already occurred with a brief explanation of what they mean. 
To learn more about patterns, go to Research, Markets, Technicals, the Education icon, and Classic Patterns. And for even more information, check out our upcoming webinars and live masterclasses on technical analysis.